Hello everyone, how is it going? So today we are going to make a face expression detection system, also called as emotion detection system, where you can give a set of images, images or even a video or a webcam, and it can detect expressions and emotions in the images. So you can see some images coming up here. It can detect neutral, sad, angry, happy faces. So all these expressions can be detected very nicely. So we'll see how we can do it. So the first thing is go into the link in the description and it will open up this Google Colab file. Go ahead and log in with your own account so you can run the file. So I have this file already run and I'll quickly go in the bottom to show you how it works out. The final outcome looks like this and you can see the final output is right here where the image has come up where it shows the expression on the face and of course I will go back and try to run this from the beginning so that you can run along with me but I did want you to see the final outcome so we don't know how things are going to work out sometimes things don't work so just so I can show you how things are actually supposed to be working but nevertheless, uh, this is something which I'm doing so that you can take care of it. I'll show you how, how it will look for you when you start. So basically, it will be in this form when you start the project. Now, I can maybe close this also so it can help you. So this is the fresh start. This is how the collab file will look for you when you open it up. Now, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if this is something that you are interested in. Not, not just with the expression detection, but in the field of AI, computer vision, even electronics, IoT. So if it's something that is interesting for you, if it's something that you are looking forward to, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because this channel is all about taking up different types of challenging projects and making applications out of them. So the first primary role is for ourselves to learn and grow with these skills and be up to date with what the technology is coming out these days. So let's go ahead and see how it works out. So the project has about four stages and I've pointed them down here. The first stage is to collect the images with expressions. The second is to detect the faces in those images and save them. Then the third stage is to run a classifier so that you can train on these images and create a training file. And that is where this machine learning is going to come in, where you're going to train on all these images for ourselves. And then at the last stage, the, the classifier that you have created, use that on new images so that you can test and see how your system is working. So let's go ahead and I'll open the folder right here. And the first step is to go ahead and clone this repository. So I'll show you what this repository is. And this is the Google GitHub repository. So it's the facial expressions repository. And you'll see that I have forked from this particular gentleman. And they basically uploaded all the facial expressions. They have tons of images. And if we go back into the facial expressions file here, I'll show you it has tons of images. If we go under images, and if you open up the image, it shows that it has about 12,000 entries. So it's a, it has about 12,000 images. And all these images are of different people, different uh, celebrities and different, and it, it, they have classified these images into different expressions. So basically they, they just saved these images and they had this data file, which had the XLV or it has the legend I believe it's the legend.csv which has all the information about all the images. So if you see these images, it had this Excel file with all these images and what expression they, they were representing. So I, I went and did some processing so that it makes it easy for us to pull up this information. Otherwise, you have to open up the CSV file every time you, you need to decide an expression. So you can see all these images that were classified with their uh, with their corresponding emotions. Now, coming back to our collab file. So I'll, I'll show you what all changes I have done. And 
this is the first step where we are going to be cloning the repository let me also clean up all the output from the previous runs so it's a fresh start for you now that's once the once it's done let's run the repository so we're going to clone the repository first it's going to take a few seconds because it's a big repository it has too many images in it and it's going to take a few more seconds and hopefully everything should be downloaded for us and it will be available in this particular section so if i close this and reopen this you'll see that there is a new folder called facial expressions and it has all these images and all the folders available here so if you come down and see here in the bottom the sad.txt surprise txt neutral happy and these are even the anger txt these are all the text files which has the names of those images so for example if i open the anger.txt and it comes up here it gives out all the names of those images that represent that emotion so these are all images that were representing the anger emotion similarly there's a happy.txt which is giving out information about all the happy emotions faces so that is what i created which is going to help us in the next few stages for creating the facial expressions so the next step is to create so first change the directory telling google to go into the facial expressions directory because that is where we are going to be working and also creating a set of other directories so we are creating a directory called data set and under data set we are creating these five emotions anger happy neutral sad and surprise so if i go ahead and play this it's going to create a folder and it is also going to go under the facial expressions so we can't see the folder right here because we need to refresh this so if i close this back again if i open up again you'll see there will be a folder called data set and it has all these five emotions in it now so these image these folders now don't have anything right now but we do need to create and uh, extract those images and put them into their respective folders that is what we are going to be doing in the next stage and this is what the stage is about so coming down here run this and what is going to do is it's taking out all the images from the anger.txt file and it is saving under the anger dataset anger folder so if i open up this anger folder now it will have a certain set of images in it so you can see all it has all these images and these are about 250 images that are saved under the anger folder similarly if we want to do it for the happy image happy emotion so if we change this to anger from anger to happy we need to change this as well so make sure you're doing it on the same place so happy.txt and you're also changing the happy folder directory so it's taking all the happy txt images all the images from the happy txt file and saving them under this data set images so let's play this and now it's going to do it for happy as well so if we open up happy now now happy is supposed to have some images present in it so that's good so it means that happy is working now the neutral and sad they are empty for now and we're going to keep it empty just for the sake of this video otherwise it's going to become very big but if you want you can go ahead and test it out just change the word happy instead of happy change it to neutral in the same place here as well so both these two places you have to make those changes and whatever emotion you want keep that same file name both the clip both the places and make sure you're not having any spelling mistakes there so once this is done come down here it's going to we are asking this folder to create a new directory by the word data set so see there is a difference this is data underscore set and this is data set and data underscore set has the initial images which are not processed but data set will have new images that we are going to put up now which will be all processed so let's go ahead and create that directory and it will create a new directory called data set here so again it's not showing because we need to refresh this so i close this and i open it back again and we now see a new data set directory created here for us so this is until here it was all about 
all about seeing pre-processing it's all about collecting information data collection which is the most important aspect in any machine learning project to have good amount of data and pristine data good quality data and there's it's all organized in the right format that your project needs so until here we were just doing data collection and data saving once that is done come down and the first step is to create the data set of images so here we are going to first create the data set of anger images and we're going to create a data set of all the faces that have just have anger so we we do have view i mean now you might ask that we already have faces with anger here with all the angry images here but why, why are we again doing this creating a data set of faces that is because these images that are here these are images of faces but also along with their background behind it so these are not just faces it has their background it's it, the image has the uh, the background information as well which is not needed for our training algorithm we just need the profile of their face so for that purpose we are creating that cropped image with just faces on it so we'll go ahead and create this and here it's an important step so make sure you follow along very closely so the when you press play button here make sure you're writing down whatever you need so you're creating anger and you're also changing anger here so whatever you pro whatever emotion you're having here make sure you put down here as well with the same spelling so anger.txt anger data set so play this and it will ask you for the user id so whatever emotion you are creating remember the user you, you remember the user id create a user id for yourself and the first user id starts with a zero so in our case anger is the first emotion that we are detecting like that there are about five emotions that we can do and the anger is the first one which we are going to be doing now and we will start with the initialization of zero so i'll put down zero here and I, i'll press enter so when i press enter it will go through all the images in the under the anger image under the anger folder and create them in the data set so you can see if i open up data set now it will have all these images and it has this id zero attached to it so it says Z user zero so user zero is nothing but faces with the angry images in it so now next step next step is to let's do the same thing for happy so like we did for anger change it to happy so happy.txt and instead of again here instead of anger you're going to put happy.txt so now it can create images for happy so the same thing press play button and it will again ask you for the user id in this case press one because happy is the second emotion that we are testing today so uh, we just press one and we press enter and it will go ahead and create find all the happy images from here and save it under the data set folder with the id one so it says that it's done and let me close these back again so it has created all these images for our anger and happy so both of them are saved under this data set folder the so next step next step is to train the images for that we need to first create this folder called trainer and let's place it let's save that and the trainer folder hopefully it should come by itself but it's not coming in so we again close this and open back again so you can now see that there's a trainer folder here right now there's nothing in it but we will now create that trainer file that classifier or that machine learning output file and it will be saved under this trainer folder so coming back here coming down here the, there is nothing that we need to edit over here we just go ahead and press the play button and it will create that trainer file for us so you can see that it's showing that it's training the faces so it's going through each face in that data set folder and creating a training file for us so let's give it a few seconds it, this one takes a while and it shows it shows that two faces were trained well, it means basically that you have changed or your two expressions have been changed so that is what it's creating and if you open up the trainer dot file it now has a trainer dot yml file and this yml file has nothing but the information that data information about all the expressions and their emotions from the faces 
So that's with that done, we we are almost done with the program, and we have information about all the faces saved in the under the training file. So the last step is the recognition step, and that is nothing but the moment of truth, and uh, finding out how this uh, uh, this application works. So recognition here you we need to do one one change. So look at this names, this line number 16, where it has this names here. So this happy, anger, none, 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 none. This is nothing but expressing what IDs that you had saved. So if you remember, the first ID that we had created was for anger image, and that was number zero. So you wanna change this to anger. And the second ID we had was happy. So the second ID was happy. So we'll change that to happy. And similarly, and now in my video in this particular project, I did only two emotions. But if you are interested in running everything else, go ahead and create all those IDs. But make sure you're running the step two where you're creating all the data sets and training all of them. So like that, you can put down neutral here, sad here, surprise here. And one none for where, where there is no emotion that they could not identify. So, in our case, anger and happy, we're good with that for now, and we'll try to run this for us. So, I do have this uh, image from Duane, and it will also be available for you as well because it's part of the repository. So, you will have it as well for you to test. But I'll show you how, if you want to test your own image, how you can do it. But for now, let's go ahead and see how this works. So I have the Duane image come up here and we are going to save this as save it as a Duane Johnson.jpg file. So let's run this. So it, it opens up the Duane image and it's also going to save us save the Duane Johnson image for us and we'll open up that Duane Johnson image using this particular application, this particular code. This code is nothing but uh, it is used for the Google Collab and I'm just using it to display this image for us here. If I, if I play this button, it should open up this image and I'm glad that it's giving us the right emotion. So you can see that uh, the face has been detected and it's showing about 40% accuracy in terms of anger, which is good. So let's go back and do it from the other image. I do have Elon Musk's image and it saves it says elon.jpg here, Elon JPG. So let's go ahead and change this here. And if we say Elon JPEG and and we'll save it as Elon Musk, just to differentiate between the two images. And we press the play button and it has detected the image. Now we can see that uh, Elon Musk image should pop up here. If, if it hasn't, just close this and just refresh this. And you can see that Elon Musk image has come up here now. So let's come back here. And instead of Dwayne Johnson, we'll try to read the Elon Musk image. So let's just play the button and it will play the information for us. And it is able to detect the happy image on it. Now you'll notice that the text, the font from the Dwayne Johnson image and this font is different. That is because this resolution of this original image uh, with, I mean, with respect to Elon Musk's image, Elon Musk's image was big. It had huge resolution. That is why the text which we are putting, it comes out very small. But if you want this to be big, if you are depending on the what types of images you're doing, when you're coming here, it has this text format. There is a size where I'm putting one here. Use whatever size you want to put down. If you want to make it big, increase this number. If you want to reduce it, reduce it by whatever number you want. So that's that's about detecting these images and displaying them. Now, if you had your own image to run, come down here on this particular section where it says facial expression, right click and says click on upload and it will allow you to select any image from your computer and upload it on the Google Colab, and then you can run it on yourself. Now, this is running on a Google Colab, for which reason you won't be able to do it on a webcam, but if you download this whole code, and if you create this on your own computer, you should be able to do it, and this code already has the video capture file in it. So it has the video capture zero information in it, so instead of reading it from the image, you can uncomment these lines 
and it can read from your webcam and do the detection for you in real time. Uh, I did not do it on my computer. I kept it on Ricola because it's easier for you guys to run it. And for the majority of the crowd, majority of us, it's easier for us to run and see how things are running. So that's the reason I kept it on Google Colab. But if you run it on your Python application on your computer and access your webcam, you should be able to do this on your webcam in real time. And trust me, it is very fast because it's using the hard cascade classifier information, which is very low key and it doesn't require any computation. You don't need any high GPUs or anything. A simple CPU can take care of this in a matter of seconds. And this will be in real time. So of course, it will work out very nicely. So with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. If it's something that has helped you, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give a like if it's something that is, of course, helping you. Uh, but if not, I totally understand. If you have any feedback, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you have any projects that you're looking to work on, you're interested in or you're trying to learn, leave a comment and I'll be happy to look into it for you. And we can work together. We can grow together. We can learn together. So with that, I come to the conclusion. You guys take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.